our schools are full. This year alone, the Calgary Board of Education has welcomed over 140,000 students, 5,000 more from the year before. To help address rapid student enrollment across Alberta, the provincial government has announced it will spend $8.6 billion over the next three years to build new schools in Alberta. Right now, our system utilization is 96%. Our schools are full. Today's announcement is a step in the right direction for the Calgary Board of Education and the families we serve. The School Construction Accelerator Program is welcome news for the Calgary Board of Education after it announced it needs roughly 40 new schools over the next decade. The Calgary Catholic School District says they have also seen record enrollment this year, adding they have requested 24 projects over the next three years. The program is also designed to help speed up the construction of schools by enabling school projects to be approved in year for their next stage in the construction process with out having to wait for the next budget cycle. The new program will allow us to complete construction on about 50,000 new student spaces over the next three years and complete more than 150,000 new spaces in the four years after that. Premier Smith says it's the fastest and largest build the province can handle given the availability of contractors, the time it takes to get permits and service school sites. But the communications director with Support Our Students Alberta says the plan doesn't help students right now. We had hoped to see something more short term in terms of this year, uh, you know, in terms of operational funding, which the Premier was completely silent on. So that's instructional funding that goes to hiring more staff uh, and more education workers. And while the president of the Alberta Teachers Association was pleased to see a commitment to more student spaces, he has concerns about who will work in them. Right now, uh, students are crammed into classes of over 30 and 40 kids. Teachers are struggling to meet their needs and teachers are feeling burnt out and leaving the system. And nothing was actually said about that or whether, how we're going to get people to work in these buildings. In Calgary, Jaden Wozni, City News.